You got that big speech in five minutes, Simpson, huh? You're not gonna hang yourself, are you? <laughs> oh. Huh? Dear Mr. Simpson, I've taken the liberty of preparing your speech on the enclosed numbered three by five cards. All the big words are spelled phonetically. Oh, God bless you. You are one of Springfield's very special creatures. Your obedient servant, Carl. Good luck, sir. Carl, so that wasn't just a sweet voice I heard inside my head. What are you doing here? I just came to say goodbye to the gals in the typing pool. Yeah, well, thanks for the speech, Carl. But I can't give it. Look at me. I guess I haven't taught you anything. What do you mean? Don't you see the tartar sauce, the bathroom key, drying your boss's hands? You did it all. It was never the hair. You did it because you believed you could and you still can. No, I can't. I'm just a big fool. Oh, no, you're not. How do you know? Because my mother taught me never to kiss a fool. Carl. Now go Get him, tiger. And now, with some fresh insights, what are the rising young stars of our nuclear family? Homer Simpson. What in blazes? Who is that old geezer? And what has he done with Homer Simpson? <laughs> he is Homer Simpson, sir. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> a lot of you would think I was crazy if I did this. He's crazy! Yet we at this power plant are doing this every hour of every day. Bloated inventories, outmoded production methods. I can save this company millions of dollars a year. How? Through Jiko Kanri, the Japanese art of self-management. This bald man has no ideas. Hey, this is a joke. I'm not laughing. Some nerve telling us how to run the plant. He doesn't even have hair. Inefficiently mining uranium that can be purchased quite cheaply on the foreign markets. Uh, the long-term benefits more than offsetting the one-time cost for net savings of f five thousand two. Uh, uh, lot of money. Mr. Burns' office, right now. Dead man coming through. Well, well, well. Our dashing young junior executive. You made a hollow mockery of our morning meeting, Simpson. I should fire you on the spot. But I'm not going to. Uh, why? Simpson, how old do you think I am? I don't know. 102? I'm only 81. You may find this hard to believe, but in my salad days, my crowning glory was a bright shock of strawberry blonde curls. Oh, I was big man on campus until my senior year, when I became as bald as a plucked chicken. You see, Simpson, I too know the sting of... Male pattern baldness. That's why I'm giving you your old job back. What? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Oh, now get out of here before I reconsider. Oh, better hurry up. You know, you can take your job, oh, yeah. Homer, are you still awake? I've never been more awake in my life. What's wrong? Are you kidding? I'm stuck in that dead-end job again. The kids are gonna hate me because I can't buy them all the stuff I promised them. And you're not gonna love me as much because I'm ugly and bald. Oh, Homer, your job has always put food on our table, and the kids will get over it. And? And what about loving me? Oh, Homer, I... Come here. What? Come here. Oh. You are so beautiful to me you are so beautiful to me can't you see oh. you're everything that i hope for i'm everything you need you I are so beautiful, beautiful to, to me you. 